Have you ever felt unhappy with your teeth? I mean, they can be perfectly healthy, but they could still be damaged, whether they have some chipping or some cracking in them. If this sounds like you, you could be making some common mistakes that are damaging your teeth, even though you're keeping them clean and healthy. So in this video, I'm gonna go over seven reasons that your teeth are getting damaged and how to prevent them from getting damaged. So make sure you stick around. The first reason is if you have an uneven bite. So ideally, whenever we bite down, we want our pressure to be harder on the back teeth, those back molars, and we want the pressure to be lighter on the front teeth. Now, we also want this pressure to be even on the right and left side. The problem is most people don't have that ideal bite. And the reason is because most people have crooked teeth, at least to some degree. When you have crooked teeth, that means you have an uneven pressure distribution throughout your bite. It's not just aesthetics at this point. Unfortunately, if you already went through puberty and your jaw is done growing, the only thing you can really do at this point is get either braces or Invisalign to straighten your teeth. A lot of people think this is only to make your smile look better, and although it will improve your smile if you have straighter teeth, it will also improve your bite and not put as much stress on areas that we don't want them to. Because if you're hitting harder on the front teeth than you need to, or if your bite is harder on one side, that means that side is gonna be more damaged than the areas that aren't taking as much of that bite. So a lot of times people have chipping with their front teeth or they have wear all on one side, and that's because their bite is uneven. So if we wanna prevent that from getting worse, we wanna straighten the teeth or at least distribute that bite a lot better. Now this actually brings us to number two, which is grinding and clenching your teeth. So some people will grind or clench their teeth during the day when they're stressed out about something, and some people will do it when they're sleeping and not even know about it. A lot of times your partner who's sleeping next to you will hear what sounds like nails on a chalkboard almost, but it's literally people grinding their teeth together. This can cause your teeth to get shorter and flatter. It can cause them to crack and chip, or it can even cause jaw pain and headaches. The simplest solution if someone is grinding their teeth is to get a night guard made. You can get a custom one made at your dentist. You can even get an over-the-counter one made at like a sporting goods store. Although the custom one made at the dentist is gonna be better because it's not only gonna protect your teeth and fit a lot better, it's also gonna deflect those forces. Because when you get it custom made in a dental office, they're actually able to distribute the bite evenly so that you're actually gliding your teeth back and forth and distributing that force evenly. So you're not really damaging any teeth when you use a custom night guard. All that really is is like a thicker piece of plastic that goes either on one arch, either on your top or your bottom teeth, and you wear it anytime you would grind your teeth. Most people wear it at nighttime. That's why it's called a night guard. Now, what causes this grinding and clenching? Well, we know that it's multifactorial, so there's multiple things that will go into it. A lot of times it is stress related, and a lot of times it's also sleep related. So it doesn't just come with stress relief, although that's part of it. It could also be related to like a sleep apnea or some sort of airway obstruction when you are sleeping. What we know is about 50% of people who are able to start reinforcing nasal breathing when they're sleeping or simply breathing through their nose are able to stop grinding their teeth when they're sleeping. The simplest solution to do that is one, use a mouth tape, literally a medical grade tape that goes over your lips and also a nasal dilator. The mouth tape that I like to use is something called 3M Micropore Paper Tape, which is again, literally just this medical grade tape. And nasal dilators you can get over the counter or even on Amazon. The ones I like are the Breathe Right Strips, which is literally a piece of tape that goes over your nose. You can also get an internal dilator, like something called Mute, which is just this piece that attaches on the inside of your nose and you can crank it open to dilate your nose that way. Now, if you're looking at me like I'm crazy by telling you to tape your mouth shut so you can breathe through your nose while you're sleeping, I did make a lot of other videos on the importance of nasal breathing. And I also talked about the link with grinding your teeth and other airway issues. So I'm putting some videos down in the description below if you wanna check those out. The third reason that your teeth are getting damaged is because of frequent snacking. So if you frequently snack on food throughout the day, that means you're constantly exposing your mouth to acids and to sugar. Even if they're in really small quantities, they're gonna do equally as much damage as something in a big quantity. Because let's say you're sipping on a can of Coke throughout the day. You're just taking tiny sips throughout the day. Well, even that tiny sip is introducing new sugar and new acids 
into your mouth. And these acids are going to be constantly demineralizing your teeth or weakening your enamel and causing more erosion. And these sugars, whether it's like a soda or crackers or chips or really any carbohydrate, will feed the bacteria in your mouth that cause cavities. This bacteria is called Streptococcus mutans. And once this bacteria eats these carbohydrates, it will release lactic acid as a byproduct. This lactic acid is what will sit on your teeth and damage them and cause cavities. Now, if you were to have one giant serving at one time of like Coke and other carbohydrates, yeah, I mean, it's probably not gonna be good for you, but it's not gonna be so bad for your teeth as opposed to sipping on one can of Coke throughout the day. Because when you have one large serving, you're still giving your saliva time to build up and buffer and clean away all the acids and leftover plaque and food particles in your teeth. But when you're constantly exposing your mouth over and over to these sugars and these acids, you're not giving your body time to produce enough saliva to clean this away over and over. So it would be better to either A, not snack over and over throughout the day, or B, snack on things that do not cause cavities. So things like vegetables or nuts or even cheese. The fourth reason your teeth are getting damaged is because you're brushing your teeth too hard. Now this could be one, because you're using a hard bristled toothbrush, or because you're just pressing way too hard with your dang toothbrush. When you brush your teeth, you really need to clean soft and gently with your teeth. If you're using a manual toothbrush, you can angle that toothbrush toward your gum line at a 45 degree angle and go in really soft circular motions, or you can just get an electric toothbrush, which is what I recommend, and just hold that electric toothbrush on each tooth for a few seconds. When you brush really gently like this, you're gonna still be cleaning away all the plaque and food particles on your teeth. But when you brush super hard, and you will see people with these super frayed looking toothbrushes, then you're actually gonna be doing more damage to your teeth. You're gonna start wearing away that enamel, even though your enamel is so hard, it's still gonna be damaged. Or you're gonna cause gum recession because you're gonna be damaging your gums over and over, and then your gums will start to pull back away from your teeth. This can lead to your root structure being exposed, which isn't so pretty, and it can also cause more sensitivity with your teeth. Even though there's no cavity, it can still be damaged. Or it can lead to these punched out lesions by your gum line because you're constantly wearing away the enamel in that spot. Now the fifth reason that your teeth are getting damaged is because you're using your teeth as tools. Listen, your teeth were not meant to open bottles, they were not meant to open wrappers, and they were not meant to cut your nails. You might seem perfectly fine using your teeth as these tools over and over, but what happens is you're gonna lead to these micro fractures in your teeth. And they're micro fractures because a lot of times you can't see them. But over time, these can turn into actual cracks in your teeth and lead to this chipping or cracking or even like a fracture of your whole tooth. Again, they're not cavities in your teeth, but it's just being dumb with your teeth, no offense. Now the sixth reason your teeth are getting damaged is acidic foods and acidic drinks. So these are things like sodas or citrus foods like oranges and lemons, and not even sugary sodas, like even diet sodas. All these things are very acidic. Now your enamel will wear away at a pH of 5.5 meaning anything more acidic than this will start to demineralize your enamel. Most of these drinks and foods are at a pH way lower than this. And the more you sip on these drinks or the more that you eat these foods, the more that it will cause erosion on your teeth and wear away your enamel and start exposing the dentin underneath. Now the problem with your dentin is your dentin is a lot weaker than your enamel. It only takes a pH of about 6.5 to demineralize your dentin. So once you get into your dentin, then you gotta be extra careful because this will get damaged even more. So what should you do instead? Well, obviously the simplest thing would be to just avoid these acidic foods and acidic drinks. But you can also try swishing your mouth with water after to just at least dilute these acids. Or you can start chewing gum right after you eat these foods. I'd recommend a xylitol gum. Now, xylitol is really cool because it's antibacterial and it can actually prevent cavities. It's the only sugar alcohol or the sugar substitute that can actually prevent cavities. All other sugar substitutes will actually still cause cavities to some, a very small degree, but still to some degree. Xylitol, on the other hand, will actually prevent cavities. So if you chew this xylitol gum right after you eat these acidic things, not only will the xylitol prevent cavities, but also 
chewing gum will naturally produce more saliva in your mouth, and the saliva will also help dilute these acids. So I recommend really any time you eat something to have some xylitol gum right after. Now, if you have some TMJ issues or jaw pain, then you might wanna limit the chewing gum because this could actually aggravate it. But for most people, this will work perfectly fine. The seventh reason you are damaging your teeth is you're not drinking enough water. This might seem a little silly, but most people do not drink enough water. Now, even sparkling water is good. It hydrates you, but the problem with this is it can still be acidic. Some can be more acidic than others, so you definitely wanna check your water bottle and maybe even do a little bit of research on how acidic what you're drinking actually is, especially if you're drinking it every day. But when you're not hydrated, when you're instead dehydrated, then your body is not gonna produce enough saliva. And we already talked a little bit about how important saliva is, but your saliva is like a natural bodyguard for your teeth. It will dilute the acids in your mouth and prevent them from damaging your teeth. It's also an antibacterial, so it can help clean away some of the bacteria in your mouth, and it can simply wash away the plaque and leftover food particles on your teeth. Now, if your teeth are a little chipped or a little damaged and you wanna prevent them from getting worse, here are some things that you can do. You can, one, start by simply going to your dentist every six months. I know that sounds basic, but they'll be able to check if there's any early signs of cavities or signs of you grinding or clenching your teeth or even check your bite, for example, and they can tell you anything that might happen in the future if you don't correct them early on. I'd also recommend, like I talked about, a proper technique with brushing and flossing, but also using a soft bristle toothbrush. Also, I know I talked about this before as well, but getting a night guard made, especially if you grind or clench your teeth. And again, I also talked about this earlier, but drinking water in between meals and also swishing with water after having something sugary or acidic and also having a xylitol gum right after you eat something. And also quick side note, this isn't really something to help prevent you from damaging your teeth more, but something to keep in mind. If you ever had dental work done, like any filling or anything like that, no matter what, it will weaken your teeth. Anytime you remove enamel and replace it with an artificial thing, well, even if it's like a composite filling and it's a small filling, you're still weakening your tooth because there's less natural tooth structure that is in that tooth. And the less natural tooth structure you have, the weaker that tooth will be. So a lot of times I see people with these giant fillings and over time they might crack. And the reason isn't because they got a cavity on that tooth. The reason is simply because that tooth was so weak and they used it so much, especially if they're using it for things that they're not supposed to, that that tooth simply just wore out and broke. So if you have some fillings in your mouth, especially if they're bigger, just keep this in mind. There's not a whole lot you can do, but you can definitely be more careful around them. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you haven't already, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below and I will see you in the next video. What if I told you that your favorite bedtime snacks are actually causing your cavities and gum disease? There are some foods that are terrible for your teeth, especially at nighttime specifically. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the worst foods that you can have right before bed, but also some healthier alternatives if you wanna have some nighttime